welcome to bitfumes we are on paypal payment integration and this time we are going to move towards the server integration and the execution of payment on the server side so in the last episode we have done something weird that we have removed this code this execute code so that we can execute the payment on server end so how we can do that firstly how we can redirect the user to our execute part or execute route of our server so here we can say return then actions dot redirect so let's see this is the simple uh, function we have so go to the firefox server is already started so let's click here so one two three four five six seven eight and log in here and now let's click on continue and after the continue process it's doing something and it's redirected me to my account the personal the person who is logged in this is because we have not given paypal any redirect url so how we can give the url so actually we need to provide the redirect url on the payment side that means along with the payment detail like this transaction we are going to send the redirect urls so redirect underscore urls this is going to be an object and here i will say return underscore url which has to be the proper url so http colon colon local host colon 8000 slash execute hyphen payment this is the route so let's go back on our localhost colon 8000 and yes we are here and because now when this part executes this will get the url from here and it will redirect our user or the buyer to this url so click on checkout and let's see secure login and now let's click on continue and you can see we are redirected to this execute payment url but obviously we don't have the url so that's why it's giving error and this is just a level error and along with that the parameter we are getting is payment id if you are following me from the first episode i have explained you how this checkout flow works so on this checkout you can see first you will get the payment id when you create the payment we are creating the payment here then you will authorize the user you will get the payer id payer id so on the firefox yes we have the payment id also at the last you can see we have the payer id we are going to use these two payment id and payer id to execute the payment on the server end that's very important thing go back here so this is nice so the javascript part or the client part is totally totally done we can actually close that file next is because we are on level we need some package for that so again yeah the friend documentation is here again starting from the start you are on this page developer.payable.com click on checkout then you need to go on api then rest api important thing at the bottom you can have the sdks so as i have told you on the last episode also we need php sdk on the php sdk let's click on php sdk wiki that means some of the documentation of this and now we can have the installation and install via composer you can directly search paypal uh, php sdk github you can do this thing you will firstly get this result so both will provide you the same thing okay let's go here on this part we need this command copy that and now we will going to have that composer install of paypal sdk remember one thing if this is saying some error just remove the star and colon it will download the package for you 
and now the package of PayPal SDK is installed successfully now what we need to do we need to set up it so firstly how we can set up and remember one thing is that on our welcome.blade.php we have created this uh, redirect URL but we don't have this route so let's now create this route also so remove this and route of get this has to be get request and then execute payment and let's create a payment controller and add execute this is the one so i will say php artisan uh, alias make controller payment controller okay so let's open payment controller and create an function which is called execute okay so in this execute we are going to return uh, for now just for checking returning request and payment id and let's now check this so what we will do and uh, yeah we need to go to firefox refresh this page and click here and continue for now then you can see we are having this payment id which is actually getting from our url the query parameters so we have done that then how we are executing the payment so where is the code where is the documentation let's go to the chrome once again close everything because i want you to start from scratch you don't feel like you have lost somewhere so that's why i'm starting from start from developer.paypal.com okay so this time let's go to api rest api and we know we want the sdk part so at the last we have a sdk we want to go on the php sdk and on the php sdk yeah last time we have visited this wiki part now we are going to visit the sample code sample code is here but before landing on the sample code let's again go to sdk for now because we need to set up it so let's go on the make your first call make your first call yeah but before calling to paypal we need to tell through paypal that who we are we tell via client id and client secret so the most important step or the first ever step of starting with any uh, anything related to PayPal API, communicating with the PayPal API, we need API context. So API context is having client ID. So we need to give our client ID which we have generated on our, uh, on our account, developer account. So yeah, we are here let's go on once more <laughs> go to the developer.people.com if you're not logged in just log in here go to dashboard then on the app and credentials and go on the app you have created the rest api app then grab the client id so grabbing the client id and paste it here then comes the secret click here and comes the secret here so in that way we have done with the uh, authorization actually authorization of ourselves for the paypal api so this is done now we need to execute the payment so we are not going to use anything from here so this means the uh, paypal wiki part is done so we have clicked on sample php sample code which land us here now because we have already done the create payment part we now need the execute for success so click on this part second part and now we need to use all these code to execute but these things we will do in the next episode because it's too long and i have explained you everything and even i need to explain more of the things that again takes time so yeah you know these episodes are created with lots of effort so please please support bitfumes just go on facebook twitter and instagram 
follow me for more updates and subscribe to this channel you can also share with your developer friends so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye